Hey, everybody over at Loot Crate. My name is Mark Ellis. This is the Schmoes No Live Show set, and this is the Schmoes No Live Show producer, Christian Rubalcaba. We call him Cobster around here. Kind of like a king. King Cobster? No? Ah, let's not get crazy with okay. that, you jack. I am uh, excited about this week because we are previewing King Arthur. It's coming out in theaters this week. It's directed by Guy Ritchie. Charlie Hunnam mm. steps into the very daunting task yeah. of playing a legendary king. I don't even know if he actually existed. We'll have to get more to that later. But we are going to do our top five kings in movie history. Copster, yes. this might be the most controversial list we've ever done. Oh, boy. A lot and of kings out there. There's a lot of kings out there, but we're not going like, oh, king in name like you have to have actually been a king mm -hmm. so like king kong uh, uh, they kind of call it he's, he's a king of the no that's Tarzan. he's more like an emperor yeah okay i'll take so him, yeah. we're not gonna go king kong sorry uh but we are gonna go with an all-time classic of movie i'm betting copster has not seen that would be richard the third way back in the 50s with sir lawrence olivier no oh dude it is so good because the speech is Sir Lars Olivier is one of the greatest actors of all time, mm. and the guy loves to act. That's why he's considered a greatest. It he's not doing it quietly. He is loud. He is boisterous, and it's a great portrayal of Richard III. It's an all-time classic. Y'all should check it out. When I say y'all, I mean you. I should check it out. Yes. We move on to number four, which is my favorite take on King Arthur to date, and that is going to be a comedic twist, the funniest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. King Arthur, yeah. played by none other than Graham Chapman. I have seen this one. Yes. yes, I've seen this one, and it's a funny one as well, because you get a lot of these times, a lot of these serious King movies where someone's mm -hmm. you know, in power and doing all the things. This is a, a really funny spin on it. It is just so funny. I mean, you're acting like you don't think the movie's that funny, though. The movie's pretty damn funny. Uh, when you got a rabbit going around killing people and eating them, <laughs> it's, it, that's comedy gold. Pointy teeth and yeah. these banging the coconuts together. God, that movie's brilliant. <laughs> Start to finish. Including the Knights of St. Nate. At number three is going to be another seemingly classic, but it came out in 1989. That would be Henry V, played by oh, Kenneth, Branagh, Kenneth Branagh, a Shakespearean yes. actor, one of the best trained thespians we have, now also a director. He's doing the girl, not the girl on the train, Murder on the Orient Express, that coming out later this year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Henry V, that's his opus. That was his his announcement to the world that this stage actor is going to be crushing a lot of stuff on the big screen. Yeah, when I, when I think of Kenneth Branagh, I think Shakespearean, I think of King Henry in general because mm -hmm. he's just so in, involved with that world and he's really great at it. That's right. So when you come on to number two, this was a tough call all of a sudden because I really wanted to get that line Mufasa in there somewhere. I can't get Mufasa in there, and I'm certainly not getting Simba in there because Simba, we, we don't know what happened to Pride Rock. Yeah, you didn't know. I don't know if they lived happily ever after, no. but I do know that at number two is Colin first portrayal as King George in the King's Speech. Yeah, I didn't see this one either, but I know he won the Oscar for for uh, Colin Firth. Yeah. Oh, dude, you got to see the King's Speech. Yeah. It's such an emotional movie. It's a great feel-good film because George the Sixth, there they call him Birdie. He, no, you're not supposed to call him Birdie. Don't look at me. I call him Birdie unless you're his wife or his speech therapist, played by Jeffrey Rush. Yeah. Is that this guy? He he had a he had a stammer. I know I bloody well stammer, and he had to give a lot of speeches. This is at the outset of World War II, and so you need to reassure the people that we're going to be doing the right thing and we're going to win the day. It's hard to do that unless you're a great public speaker. So learning that he tried all these different things and finally he met this guy with unorthodox uh, methods helped him be able to talk and communicate to the public. I mean, it's so easy for you and me to do it. That was a great speech. Thank you very much. At number one is going to be the return of the king. The king who didn't want to be the king necessarily. He even changed his name to Strider at one point. Mm -hmm. But Aragorn in one of the greatest trilogies of all time. Return of the king is when we finally put the crown on the right head. No, absolutely. Especially the journey you see. For, I have seen Fellowship of the Rings oh, and good Two Towers. You. I've seen all those. Yeah. Uh, the journey that you see w with his fellow fellowships, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, all the way to Return of the King is really, really great. And look, I mean, this guy is a badass all around. And he's just, he's one of those badasses that's not trying to be. He's an all around good guy as well. Yeah, now look, I'm, you see, you know what? A hell of a nice guy. He's a too. nice guy. Uh, we missed a lot. There, there's a lot of kings that are out there that I'm sure you guys are typing on your computers at and letting us know, hey, I don't agree with this, or maybe you're using your smartphone. King Ghidorah. Uh, king Ghidorah. Come on. King Ghidorah is great. Come on. Um, the, the King in Excalibur. There's a King Arthur in okay. Excalibur who's okay. awesome. I'm going to throw some comedies at you. King Ralph? John Goodman? No? Crickets? How about this? Spaceballs. King Roland. Okay, there you go. Played yeah, by like Dick that. Van Patten. I like that. There's a lot of great kings there. Did I miss any? 
The king's men. That's king's not, men. Not, yeah. not a king, mm. but it does have king in it. Stephen King. Thank you very much, Beardo. He is a writer. He is not actually a king, but he's great at horror stuff. That's All true. right. Well, we cease to horrify you anymore. We will just tell you subscribe right here to Loot Crate's channel. And while you're in the subscribing mood, come on over to Schmoes. No subscribe at our YouTube channel because that's where you can catch the live show every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. PST. Cops, where can the kids find you? You guys can find me on Twitter at Cops15. And finally, watching the King's Speech in that first movie he said. Oh, boy. And how? I am Mark Ellis at Mark Ellis Live. We'll see you guys next week for another Top 5 Bit. What's up, Loot Crate? Hey, you see all these other things here? You make sure you subscribe to Loot Crate right over there. There's our channel, and there's other things right over there. You like that, Mark? I, I, I do, Christian. Good.